Hello and welcome back to the channel and welcome today to Dust and Elysian Tale. This is once again another game that I'm going to suggest towards doing maybe a little series on. It's something that I've played before, I've never fully completed it but I've got quite far into the game. Really enjoyable game if you can, some people get a little bit offy with the kind of style of it but it's a really good game once you get past the initial kind of barriers as it were. So, it was kind of this or a few others, like originally I was going to record some, like, some Blood Bowl or something, because I'm quite a big Blood Bowl fan, but the games tend to drag, so I was just like, oh, I don't know. So I thought I'd do something a little bit more action-based, so I'm going to just start a new game on this, and yeah, I can see what you guys think. We'll just go normal, and I shall let you hear the story. has fallen to fade. Its great works long since complete, its storied civilizations long since fallen to dust. The greatest legends of Elysium long since forgotten. What was once a land of promise has fallen to the ravages of war. And it was in this, our most desperate hour, that the greatest of Elysian tales began. The lone warrior stood against an army, slashing his way through all who opposed him. The mob stood no chance, and the soldier showed no mercy. But despite his victories, his skills, his ruthlessness, the valiant soldier would perish on this day. Not to the mob, but to a single child. Dust, dust, arise. What? A talking sword? What are you? Only that which you have summoned. Summoned? How? For what purpose? That I do not know. But we shall learn in time. Now rise and claim the blade of Ara. Stop! Stop right there! And who is she? Me? I'm Fidget, guardian of the sword. So yeah, this is what I was talking about with the art style. Some people find it a little bit off-putting, but as I say, once you get past it, it's actually a really good game. Uh, right, you don't look like a guardian to me. No offense, but aren't you a bit, well, small? For a guardian, I mean. Hey, I just look after that thing. After 200 years, nobody expects the sword to just fly off and start, you know, talking. I'm kind of wishing somebody told me this was part of the job description. Or maybe they did, and I just wasn't paying attention. <laughs> yeah, that happens sometimes. Your name's Fidget. I'm sorry, I think I misheard before. You said your name was Fidget? Hey, this isn't about me. You're the one who's got my sword. How about you tell me your name? I'm... Uh... Calm yourself, Fidget. His name is Dust, and he is the one who woke me from my slumber. So, Fidget, then? That's me, and you're Dust? It would seem that way, though I can't recall that name. So, what is this sword? I am the Blade of Ara, and you, Dust, are my fated sword bearer. Yes, well, that's all great and everything, but I think it's about time I got this sword back to the clan. I can't let you just leave with this sword, Fidget. Right now, it's the only thing that knows who I am. I don't even know how I got here. Hmm. Well, then you leave me no choice. I... I challenge you! The winner gets the sword! <sighs> I don't have time for these games, Fidget. Indeed. Time is of the essence. Fidget, you will join us. I will? Oh, well, okay then. Come, Dust. We travel east. Right, so yeah, I put the, the start's a little bit wordy and it's going to continue occasionally, so the start's going to be a bit slow, but... Eventually it becomes a little bit more action orientated. This is points where it's just slowly unlocking skills for me and that kind of thing. 
So. But this is a, a really cool game. Very pretty game as well. It's just, this is a game I used to play a hell of a lot and then I just kind of stopped playing it. It was just one of those things. So I'd be kind of interested in coming back to it and getting a bit further into it than I did last time. Or preferably completing it. Whoop. Let me through. There we go. Hmm. What is it, Fidget? Well, my kind has what you'd call a sixth sense. And there's something just ahead. Oh, okay. Ooh. Ability. Dash. Whoop. Okay, cool. Handy. Forget how much you have to unlock on this game. Uh, come on. Boom. Ah. All right, we found a chest. Correction, we found a locked chest. Well, what are you waiting for? Smash it open. That would be unwise, Dust. These chests are protected by arcane locks from the last era, and are well beyond my capabilities. I suppose we'll need a key, then. Yeah, we will need a key. So let's see if we can find one, shall we? Uh, this way. Ooh. No. Oh, hello there. <laughs> Calm yourself, Fidget. Dust. Focus. Remember what you've learned thus far. No, no! Rash the buttons! <laughs> you to control this power it is unlikely dust that I would awaken from my slumber for such selfish reasons there is a village beyond these woods perhaps finding it will aid in restoring your memories and then we'll be in the clear right no more monsters fidget I think things are about to get a whole lot worse <sighs> and to think this morning started off so well at least take these feeble fruits. Something tells me you're going to need them. Okay. So now we're actually going to start getting some combat at least. Aha. Save monument. Well, that seems like a good time to save. We'll go just a little bit further. Seems very strange having just the basic controls back again. <laughs> So yeah, the combat in this is pretty cool. So at the minute it's just teaching me some basic combos, which is kind of good because I can't remember half these really basic ones. There we 
go. All done. So yeah, the combat in this game is really fun. Oh, what's this? New ability again. Hold here, Dust. You have unlocked a new ability. Bear witness to the Dust Storm. I like it. Hold the secondary attack to perform the Dust Storm. But beware, skilled as you may be, you cannot maintain the storm for long without hurting yourself. In that case, maybe I can help. If you press the super ballistic fidget action button of power, I'll perform an attack so spectacularly awesome that it'll produce emotions you didn't even know existed. Please contain yourselves as I demonstrate. <gasps> <laughs> that was, uh, very pretty. Hmm. Well, maybe I'll just keep the rest of my repertoire to myself. I'm sorry, Fidget. I'm sure it'll come in handy somehow. Actually, Dust, between the three of us, this could be quite useful. The Dust Storm can manipulate Fidget's projectile into a more powerful attack. Observe. <gasps> wow! Oh, by the way, every time I use my power, it'll use up a bit of energy meter. You can recharge the meter with melee combos. Yes, Dust. Between your combos and Fidget's own powers, you can achieve a higher hit chain, which will yield bonus experience after each battle. However, if you are struck by an enemy, the chain will be broken, and you will lose your bonus experience. All right. I think I understand. If this is all too much for you, you can check out the help. Thanks, Fidget. I'll take a look if I'm ever in trouble. Okay, now, there we go, we can get back to the problem. Yeah. Oh, damn it, it hit me. There we go. So as I say, it's a bit of a slow start, because obviously it's got to tell me all the story and the basics and stuff, but... Ooh. Come here, there we go. And there's a save, which I think is perfect time probably to end this one. So if you want to see more dust, let me know. And we'll continue from this very point. So, leave a like if you enjoyed this, drop me a comment, tell me what you think about Dust and Lizzie and Tail, and if there's any other series, let me know, because that's the whole point of this week. Subscribe if you haven't already, and thank you very much for watching. Bye bye